So we're braving the Scottish flies today. I know, the, the flies and midges are out in force today. Uh, they're Definitely. chewing us alive, literally. Um, a few people have asked, um, how did we meet? How yeah. did we meet the folk Kilty coaches? How did it come about? There, there's a lot of people interested in uh, yeah, our, our history and how we became such good friends. Um, so we want to share that with you. Yeah, we're good. To, so it dates all the way back to now. Let me just think. Let me get the year right. It must be about 1996 or 97. I'm going to get a guess. I think 96. Because oh, actually, maybe 97. Actually, no, maybe 97. Yeah. 97. Anyway, I was. I think I was maybe 14, and you were 13. Yeah. 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 That's right. Uh, we had paper rounds. You know, we're, we're paper boys. And um, you were going on holiday. I, Where were I, you going, actually? Oh, I think it was, I want to say Corfu, or maybe Mallorca. Right. Maybe Mallorca. Um, so anyway, I was going on holiday, I had my round, Rab had his round, and um, Rab very kindly stepped in to cover my paper round. Yeah, I was the guy that kind of was always up for extra runs, if you like, so I was always doing extra work if I could. And uh, Steam was going on holiday and nobody else would do his round, so Rab stepped in. Yeah, so that was a, the first meeting. The, the meeting, yeah, who yeah. would have thought that all those years later. I mean, I that's 20 years ago. That was 20 years ago. Who would have yeah. thought when we were walking around with our paper bags, kind of making <laughs> small talk, yeah. but 20 years later, we sat in a log chatting shit. Yeah, <laughs> the, the quickest the quickest route around the route, around. around. Um, so yeah, there's obviously, when you know a paper around, you're just like, okay, well, there's a little kind of shortcut here and a shortcut there, yeah, and I was yeah, going to show you the ins and outs of kind of where you go. Um, so yeah, who'd have thought 20 years later we'd be, we'd be doing this? Yeah, and then our, our lives kind of followed each other. I mean, you went to the army, I didn't, but yep. when you came out, you were PT and I was in, into fitness, and then you worked in St Andrews at one hotel, and I worked at the other one. Yeah, yeah. So these uh, these big five-star hotels in St Andrews, you know, popular for, for a lot of golfers. Uh, yeah, we, we kind of worked. But at the same time, we knew each other, yep. but we weren't really good friends we we're kind of like we'd, we'd give each other a wee nod yeah, if, yeah. if we seen each other say, saying hi in the passing but that, that's as far as it really went and um, then you you went to Perth first and I kind of just followed in behind just yeah. by chance wasn't it and, and I still remember I, I was I was working at the big gym in, in Perth and uh, and then you walked in the door or maybe you were having an interview actually right I think you were having an interview and I was like ah oh, buddy hey, <laughs> that's right um and, and then, then, and then the friendship really kind of. Once we were in the same building there. together, it was all over. Oh no, Perth didn't know what hit it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got some. Anyway, we've got a hell of a hell of a lot of stories with that one. Uh, maybe that's for another video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or maybe for no videos at all. <laughs> <laughs> so we've known each other for twenty years. We've been really close mates for ten, was, ten was, of them at least. Uh, well, I came to Perth in 2007, so yeah. Yeah, 2007, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. So 10 years we've been um, a lot closer. Up, up to nonsense. Um, and, and really, that, that's where it comes to. So uh, we both set up personal training businesses uh, in the Perth area. Um, we even combined them for a while, we remember? We combined them for a while. Yeah. Um, so we worked together for a little while. And, and then actually, there's a photograph. We might try and get it for this. Now, when we'd combined our businesses, <laughs> we were going to do a, a wedding fair. So we actually got kilted <laughs> yeah. and we got... Somebody made us spawns, remember the yeah, look? That's right. But anyway, yeah, yeah. we've got this photo where we're in our uniform in the kilts. And we, we said the line way back then. Wouldn't it be cool if we could wear a kilt every day of our life? Yeah. Because you love it so much, but it's just, it's impractical. Like you, wouldn't, you wouldn't normally turn up for a PT session in a kilt. Yeah. It's like, well, why are you wearing a kilt? It's, it's a bit strange. Um, so, but yeah, we coined that phrase ages ago. I know, and I'll never forget that, actually. So yeah. yeah, we were at a wedding fair trying to draw up business for the PT business that we were, we were operating in. And um, yeah, we wore our kilts with a PT <laughs> Actually, top. we got roped into... Um, Going on stage. That's right, Going with our tops stage. off. Yeah. And you uh, guys are fit guys, you know, can you, can you model the, the kilts and the, and the sporings <laughs> uh, and go on stage? So yeah, we went on, we did the catwalk with the tops off in our kilts. Um, Do you yeah. remember that stuck up model? There was a guy backstage, he was a model, and he just kept staring at my stretch marks. I was like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you yeah. out the back and beat your ass! Oh, there, was, uh, there was a bit of jealousy as well there going on because uh, there's these models there, obviously, 
as part of the catwalk being yeah. paid to be there and then we rock up and we're like yeah yeah sure we'll do that and obviously in our light-hearted ways we're like yeah sure we'll, we'll go on stage so then we go backstage and we're like well i'm not going to go on stage without getting a pump on first so we, <laughs> we start doing like press ups and uh, and, uh, and and dips just trying to get the chest and the yeah. shoulders pumped up and they're kind of like, uh, what, 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 why, why have you got your tops off? And they're, uh, it's just, that was just it was funny. Oh, and then scenario. the funniest bit was like, um, there was girls modelling the wedding dresses, right? Now they were professional models, right? And they obviously didn't care. But then they were all beautiful. And the minute they came backstage, they just stripped off. And him and I were like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were like, eyes down, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's, like, that's, that's in Miss Scotland at the time. Yeah, that's there. right. What and she's like, Neve? oh, don't worry, guys. We're like, yeah, no, no, Jesus. <laughs> that be gentle, man. What, what was Neve's second name? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Miss Scotland, Neve, if you're watching this, hi. Um, you were there. Um, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that, that's where the story goes. And yep. then, um, we well, obviously both became family men. Um, I worked the kids. And that's really kind of when we started. We realised that we hadn't seen each other for a while. Yeah. Because, because of the families. And we're like, do you know what? We need a catch up. Um, and uh, yeah, the whole thing started because I had a bit of an idea about, you know, sort of mindset and um, a, a few other things. And you were mm. like, oh, no, I've got these ideas about kind of group training and nutrition yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And it, our, our, our ideas just went like that, just, just meshed together perfectly. <laughs> no. <laughs> So we had, a, we had a boozy meeting and it was so fired up, energy was flaring, loads of loads of ideas, it was just flowing. We drank a couple of bottles of wine and that. Oh, yeah. Christ, yeah. Was, this was a lunchtime meeting and uh, we were tanked up by four o'clock. Oh, yeah. But then what happened was we, we then created the origins of the Celtic <laughs> coaches. So at this point, we still hadn't realised that we could wear our kilts for this. We we're like, no, no, we we can. We've got so much knowledge. I mean, we'd been we'd been personal training for you know by this point it was what 10, 11 years. Yeah. So we've got a hell of a lot of knowledge and experience that we that we wanted to give, and we're like, right, we're going to create a YouTube channel. Yeah. And um, so we, we started. I've got these oh no, no! Initially, it wasn't going to be the YouTube. No, initially, no, it was course, just going to be course. the online coaching, which we do now, but it's just taking different branding. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we had to come up with a business. <laughs> I mean, you know, you do these kind of searches and like your business name has to mean something. Yeah, and, yeah. And anyway, we we came up with the. I don't even so, want to say it. So no, no, I don't think we should say it either. No, we um, don't say it. But no. it was it was funny. It, it was it was beyond ridiculous that this name. It was just so obscure, and we spent more time explaining the name of the the company than we did actually talking about fitness. Yeah. And then it wasn't until someone said, somebody had watched a couple of our videos and uh, said, oh, you know, you've got a good chemistry between yeah. you. You can't get away from the fact that you're I got Scottish. It. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Um, can't get away from the fact that you're Scottish. You know, so you should just go all in. Yeah, he says, the number one rule for any sort of presentation is be yourself, but bigger. Be the he bigger says, version of you. Be the bigger version of you. He says, you know, you, you guys are Scottish. You love being Scottish. You love wearing your kilts. He says, I see you in kilts, doing all this stuff, making videos, and just pushing you, putting yourself out there. And I remember where we were, so there's like, I think it's, is it Daniel in the comments? Somebody, Daniel, has been recognizing the, the same hall that we do a bit of filming in, mm -hmm. all right? Kilted Ballet was filmed in it, um, I did some scenes for the Missing Coach Stephen video in it. Yep. Um, but that particular hall, I'll never forget, we were sat in there, and then we were talking about it, Bish bash bosh, and then we're like, that's it, and then that's when that blossomed. We're like, we'll make a YouTube channel, and we'll put our kilts on, and we'll do this, yeah. and we'll do that, and it just went. And and you know the difference when we were trying to be that other company, you know, and it was it was Stephen. In fact, do you remember because you said, I I, I don't want to be Rab, I want to be Robert. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I wanted to get. <laughs> I want to be more professional, so it's Stephen and Robert. <laughs> <laughs> so. The, 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 to, to cut a long story short, that old company w was was not us. We no. were trying to we we're trying to portray this image of us. We're the professional yeah. um, fitness <laughs> instructors, when really we, we didn't feel we could be ourselves because we didn't think that's what people would want. And when we were doing videos, you know, many times, especially me, like I prefer to just go off the cuff. We don't have a script normally. We just yeah. roll with it. We know roughly what we're going to say. But when we were doing those videos, everything had to be scripted and whatever. And I kept buggering up, didn't I? Every time I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> Do you remember we used the iPad behind the camera yeah. as, a, as a teleprompter? Uh, that was just ridiculous. It was almost like that scene from Rocky 2, you know, when he's doing the, the advertise, he's like, if you want to smell like the jungle cat and smell, smell mainly. Smell mainly. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Like picture that scene. Like it was. Uh, uh, oh, that it was, was me certainly. So um, anyway. Um, as soon as we put the kilts on, we, 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 always, we always say, you know, if you're going to a wedding or, or, or an event of some kind, even at that wedding fair, for instance, yes. you know, normally go to a wedding fair, you're, you feel a wee bit kind of exposed because you're trying to drum up business. But as soon as we put the kilt on, you're like, oh, we're just relaxed. Like, we're just, we're I just know, be ourselves. that was unbelievable. And, and there's, there's no hassle at all. So as soon as you put your kilt on, you're like, oh, I'm just relaxed now, I'm, I'm good. So it was complete chalk and cheese. Going from the other company into the kilted coaches was just Incredible, yeah. the, the transformation and, and us were like, oh, we can be ourselves. We we can say fuck our bugger. Yeah. Um, well, that's exactly why. If you watch our original video, the very one we launched with, which was called "Who the Heck Are the Kilty Coaches," that's why we're in suits and clean shaven at the start of the video. Is we're taking the piss out of ourselves because when we were trying to be serious, we we're trying to get the suits on and be all professional. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's funny about that video. We're walking along, we're like. <laughs> and then it has us suiting up in the kilts and so on and yeah. that, that whole video tells our story really yep it is it is so we got you know since obviously we've launched we, we get a question asked all the time yep. all the time yeah, like. yeah. now this has come about because um, magazines such as um, Gay Times and um, Till Road yeah they've been great yeah been absolutely fantastic for us um, shared us to thousands and thousands of people and we really really appreciate it it's, yeah. been, it's been really they're great a, and they, they, they retweet boost. us they're, they're fantastic yeah. really yeah we've got a good relationship with them so uh, we're really happy with them now this is um, stirred up a, a question is are they gay are they boyfriends are they a couple mm -hmm. and, um, and and that's if you want to ask that question that's that's, that's fine um, if you're um, constantly asking and um, only watching our channel and, and the off chance or the chance that we may or may not be gay you're watching the wrong channel yeah we don't judge people on their sexual orientation skin colour anything we just don't judge people are people right yeah. we keep saying this like we don't care you the subscriber what sexual orientation you are you can tell that in the comments people give us cheeky comments from left right men women whatever if they're funny we'll laugh we'll yeah. find them funny if, Some, it's a, if it's a little compliment we'll take the compliment a compliment's we, a compliment we, we, we love it it makes yeah. us smile on a daily basis the comments that we get and there's some comp there's some com some comments that we just don't know how to reply to because you're like holy shit like, yeah but it doesn't yeah. mean that you don't kind of laugh at it kind of well, like wow you know th there's even there's, some terms that we're like what does that actually mean i know it's been a learning experience but you know we, people are asking the question and then they assume that we're pretending to be some like i remember there was a bunch of we can only just describe them as trolls really saying that we're what was the most bizarre the, 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 one the, the, the bizarre one was that we were gay, gay pretending, pretending to be, to be straight, straight pretending, pretending to be gay, gay. Like that's that's like a double negative. Like that's 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 really weird. Yeah, I mean, like we're gay, pretending to be straight, pretending to be gay. So it's, uh, the whole thing is we are just being ourselves. Yeah. The fact that we've been shared by Gay Times and Towel Road, great. Thank you very much. That's that's amazing, um, and hopefully we'll, we continue to be shared. But that's completely irrelevant to our channel. We're the kilted coaches. We're, we're fitness, nutrition, mindset, health, and happiness. That's our message. Yeah. Our sexual orientation shouldn't come into it. We deliberately just never answered those questions because it's, it's borderline offensive, yeah, isn't it? You yeah. know, it's like if you would judge someone by their sexual orientation, it's like you're asking that question. Does that mean that you'll either stay subscribed or unsubscribe based on the answer? Yeah, and, and it's, a bit, it's, it's a bit ironic because we actually had a, a, a comment. It wasn't on YouTube, it was actually on Facebook. Ah, that's right, just recently. Actually. That was recently, yeah. and that was when I was on holiday, so, so Rab had to kind of deal with this. Now, um, it was a bit ironic because um, this particular person was being um, taken offence to us pretend. Was it pretending to be gay that we weren't being honest with our audience? Yeah. And it was just like, hang on a second, you're taking offence to us not talking about our sexuality. Yeah. It was like and, and, and it's usually it's usually the gay community who would say it's irrelevant my sexual orientation and your sexual orientation is completely irrelevant of course it is who cares it's about accepting people for who they are and what they can offer you either in a friendship or so, an entertainment value yeah. so all of a sudden we felt we were being judged by our sexual I orientation know. or what this person believed was our sexual yeah. orientation and it's like oh well, hang on a second yeah 
Um, it's it, it does it just doesn't matter. I even I even said I said why are you judging us? You know, but then it just got a bit funny because was, we were likened to the Scottish version of James Franco. James Franco, that's right. And yeah. I was like, who cares if James Franco's gay or straight? The guy's funny as hell. Yeah, like yeah. I love his movies. Like. To, to, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think I get that comment because I was like, I like James. He's a good actor. Like, is he yeah. gay or straight? I don't know if he is or not, but I don't think it matters. Why, like, why are we the Scottish version of James? Franco? Well, I think he says that that James Franco. I think he was suggesting that James Franco pretends to be gay. But then, how do you pretend to be gay? And then, this is the thing that got me the most, right? And this is what when I thought and reflected on it later, I was like, God, this guy's an idiot. Basically, as my understanding, there's the LGBT and there's a Q. I believe that stands for questioning. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, let's just say James Franco is questioning. I'm not saying he is, but let's just say he's questioning. Then this guy is slagging him and getting angry at him because he's questioning. What if he doesn't know whether he's gay or straight? <laughs> and he's yeah. forcing him to come out and say, oh, come on, James Franco, just say whether you're gay or straight. Come on, Kilty Coach, yeah, yeah. stop messing with your audience, just say. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like I think I think the main thing for me when I when I read the, the thread, it was like you've got a duty to your audience to declare whether you're gay or straight. <laughs> and my response to that is, fuck you. <laughs> it's not Germany in the 1940s because no. that was a horrible I time. Mean, does that mean every single YouTube channel out there has to declare whether they're gay or straight? I mean, that is that's judgmental <laughs> no. to, the, to the highest degree. It doesn't make it any sense. Whatsoever, yeah, no. we are the kilted coaches. This is not a dating site. We're not asking you to come over and because that question is relevant if you were on a dating site, right? Because you'd want to make sure that absolutely you were going to contact them and you wanted to make sure that your your orientation matches, and therefore yeah. you know there'd be no point chasing up a wrong street, basically. Yeah, um, we have never once acted gay, acted straight, or anything because it's. We're not acting at all. We're just we're being ourselves. Yeah. Those that have watched all our videos get that. They they see that it's, it's a strong friendship. You know, they've seen our kids maybe in the odd video here, particularly in yep. Kiltemba. We've talked to our kids. We've we've not actively gone out of our way to put our family in the channel because it's our channel. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they don't want to be on camera. Yeah. You know? This is the Kilted Coach. It's not the Kilted Coach's family. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, but to keep things positive, right? One thing which I think has been fantastic is like our true viewers who know the score one way or another or have their own ideas, like. They're the, they're the cool people because they're the ones that didn't care whether we're gay or straight. They yeah. followed us, they comment. They're not afraid to comment nice things, no, thinking we're one or the other. And that's they, they're the people that are making the world a better place. One way or another, they're making the world a better place. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we're, we're being judged on our ability to deliver a health and happiness message. And that is the point of the, the whole yeah. channel. Is uh, We believe in health and happiness. Um, the whole sexuality thing is just bizarre. It's yeah. bizarre. Um, so, so we're going to wrap this video up in a second. And um, there's going to be a few people out there who are thinking, well, are they gay? Are, are they straight? Are they bisexual? Like, wh wh what are they? Um, so if you're one of those people, if you really, really still need to know, if you're desperate and you're still wondering, well, you know, if you're a bit frustrated because then we've not really answered the question, then you've not really got the point of this video. And you're just part of the problem. People are just people. Everybody is welcome to this channel. We love interacting with absolutely everybody with that positive message. We try and comment and reply to every comment. Some of them are a little bit out there, but we do our best. <laughs> We're not offended nor taken back by any, or most comments anyway, yep. um, each to their own, you know? So if you get this message and you, you agree with this message, then great, welcome to the channel.